Up the top there, somewhere 623. We've got to want to give a big round of applause. $1,000. Thank you so much for joining us. Tom Leon. And thank you to Captain Starship. And thanks everyone for supporting us, raising money for the Starship Foundation. Welcome back to the Event Finder Stadium then. The Barford and Thompson New Zealand Open here. Badminton action unfurling at pace. To round out the action on finals day then, it's the men's doubles, the second seeds, Evergreen Indonesians and all, all England Open champions of Asan and Setuan square off for a third career tussle with confident recent Asia champions and third seeds, Endo and Watanabe from Japan. What a heady day it's been. Excitement to the max. Our last offering for you then on final Sunday from Auckland. Our players backstage preparing themselves. Here we are then looking at the HSBC race to Guangzhou in the men's doubles. And you can see Asan and Setiawan at second on that table. And their opponents uh, not yet in sight, but I'm sure they will be if they continue in that vein. Karaoke Endo and Yuta Watanabe just so tricky and to give you a measure of how good they are, they've just down Tego Kumura and Kiego Sonoda, the top seeds and world number twos on their way here. And proof of that on the draw there at the top. That's where they came through, Endo and Watanabe. Third seeds take on the second seeds, the elderly, I guess you'd say, really, Asan and Setiawan. So that's what we've got in store for you. I'll be walking on court any second. Welcome to our men's doubles final on final Sunday at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open. Our umpire from Australia is Susan Taylor, service judge Justin Zhao from New Zealand. Please welcome our first finalists from Japan, the number three seeds, number seven in the world. It's Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. And their opponents, true superstars of the sports. Together they hold a total of four Olympic and world champion titles between them. They go to the final today after back-to-back -back wins over the previous champions. Would you please welcome the number two seeds, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sediwan from Indonesia. Familiar foes, these two teams in men's doubles. Real quality on stage today in our fifth and final, final, if you will, rounding out our action. And please welcome to help with the official coin toss with Susan Taylor is a representative from Barfoot and Thompson. Endo and Watanabe take on Asan and Setiawan, Japanese in white and red, head to head. One all, deadlock in their overall context. And the Watanabe won the Grand World Tour 
finals in their last encounter, 21-4, 21-18. Let's listen into the coin toss. Susan Taylor controlling things nicely. So the warm up will commence. Difficult, I imagine, waiting this long. You don't quite know how the matches are going to roll, particularly after that first mixed doubles final that went the distance. It was an absolute epic, wasn't it? 82 minutes of uh, max drama, but then a couple of shorter matches as well. Yuta Watanabe, just 21 years of age. Tokyo born and bred. Has been uh, three spots higher with his partner today. Up to fourth in the world. That was back in June 2014. His 32-year-old partner, a man of real experience. Nice sense of calm when he plays. Played with... Uh, Hayakawa and made the ranking of two in the world did Hiri, Hiroyuki Endo. Their results so far unblemished, yet to concede a game. They were really tested in the match against Kimura and Sonoda. Well, the score really didn't do it justice. It was absolutely compelling. We were commentating on the main court one. It was over on court two yesterday. And uh, it, it was just really kicking off over there. Richly entertaining for the fans. They came through 12 and 21 in the end, but 50 minutes it took them. On to Hendra Setiawan, the 34-year-old who is just godlike with his skills in the front court from Pemalang. And, uh, well, twice world champions, these two, and reigning All England Open champions as well. Mohamed Assan, his partner, three years younger, at 31 years of age, born in the same place. Ranked fourth at the moment, but they've been right up there at the very pinnacle of the game. Their results, well, they've been a little bit more tested. They had a couple of three gamers in their last two consecutive rounds, in the quarters and the semis, as you can see. But that both the same scoreline in the deciding game of both those lengthy matches, so they might be a little fatigued. Susan Taylor, lovely, warm smile, always bubbly and great to have around. Never a dull moment with Susan. And the uh, service judge, Justin Jewell from New Zealand. So, one last push then for the higher of the two podiums. Who's it going to be? These two, as recent Asian champs, men's doubles champions and German Open champions, really in great current form. It's going to be interesting to see how this men's doubles finale unfolds. Hassan and Setiawan. Always a tricky Ladies pair. Ladies and gentlemen. Seated second. On my left, on my right, Hiroko Endo, Yuta Watanabe, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Mohamed Assan, Hendra Setiawan, Indonesia. <laughs> Mohamed Assan will serve to Hiroko Endo, love all, play. Men's double showpiece, just about to get underway. Well, well if that's anything to go by, we're in for an absolute belter. their day to not do too much probably a warm-up in the hall and a gentle stretch eating at appropriate times 
Not too heavily, of course, because they'll need to throw themselves Two. around vigorously, oh. but it's always tough, Ollie, isn't it? You're a, a great doubles player in your own right. It's difficult when you're on last. Yeah, I think the, the length of the mixed doubles earlier on would have helped them just postpone things a little bit further as well. But when you only have one match as well, you get up in the morning, make sure that when you step Three. on court this afternoon, that Love. it's not the first time that your heart rate's high throughout the day, so you've been doing something physical in the morning. But again, yeah, when it's followed by, you never really know for sure, so you have to keep quite a close eye on the score when, when you're pre preparing. Sometimes you have to warm up two, three times, depending how the things go. But these guys have been around for a very long time and know exactly how it all works, so. Oh, shame, a missed time from Mohamed Hassan. Don't see many of those. Just taking his eye off the shuttle momentarily, but it's uh, greeted with so a nice so smile, so. One, three. Service over, three, four. Well, we mentioned that they've split previous matches between them, both in 2018. Oh. Asan and Setiawan won in four, the Japan Open four. back in September. And then in December, as we mentioned earlier, lost in the uh, grand HSBC BWF World Tour finals in uh, Group B. Oh. Any thoughts, Oli, tactically Five, about four. the way this might unfold? It's a hard one to call, isn't it? It is at this early stage as well. There's, uh, I think Endo and Watanabe have decided that they've had enough of it just to going through that familiarisation phase when they've stepped on court. You can see in the last couple of rallies they've started to push the tempo already. But again, we'll see both pairs just look to create the formations that give them the most strength on court. So that's for the Indonesians, again, it's with Asana at the back and Hindi Sitiwan at the net. And then for the Japanese, it's with Endo on the back line as he is now. And Watanabe at the net, he's much more creative of the two. And then we see the power of Asana is the reason why he's as good as he is on the back line. And he's suddenly erupting so here, Mohamed Asan, oh. with a flurry. Beautiful from Yuta Watanabe. You saw the signature shot, which is the straight drop from him. That's his son of so his so thing. Over. And then backing it up with a completely powerful Six, smash five. through the middle. Rich variety from this man, who you said is always very inventive and great to watch. Service fault cold, too high. Service over. Six all. A 
lucky break off the net. Well, Mohamed so uh, Hassan and Hendra Setiwan exploded six. into life, coming out to three love tear out, but now suddenly been pegged right back. Serve that from Hiroyuki Endo. Said to be punished by our son. You can see it's a packed house here today. Hundreds of fans enjoying themselves. Put the lid on the point, an outstanding point at that. The back behind from Mohamed Hassan was absolutely exquisite. They almost salvaged the point twice, but in the end, it was that. Not that one. <laughs> that one that did it. Spellbinding, absolutely mesmerizing badminton. Treated to another incredible rally. 50 shots in length that rally was. Nine, eight. Yeah, these flat exchanges are of the highest quality. Both pairs just happy enough to defend at the moment, indicating perhaps conditions are a little bit slow down there. Seems that will change, not the conditions, but the approaches oh. as we get towards the business end of the game. And I guess it makes it a really physical contest, doesn't it? So hard to get the shuttle on the floor. It just makes Ten, variation eight. from the back line become so much more important. You have to work that much harder to get the shuttle on the floor, but also the placement of your attack as well, trying to play the front man in. Another top draw point from both teams. Everybody glued to their every move. Service over. Nine, ten. Good lead from Mohamed Hassan. Very court aware. A 
Hassan and Setiawan then with a slender one point lead at the turn in this opening game of the men's doubles final. After 11 minutes, they lead 11 10. Never a dull moment in men's doubles of this caliber. High tempo, high octane badminton from the off. Just one point in it at the moment. He's got the radar on, hasn't he, Hendrix? That's your one. Doesn't miss a trick. Yeah, not the best placement for Watanabe. Flat up in his forehand, but still needed to be put away. Surprised, he suggests to Setiawan that he didn't touch the shuttle, but uh, umpire Susan Taylor having none of it. Perhaps she heard a an edge. The pace is high, and Watanabe was tangled there on that forehand wing, just couldn't get out of the way of that. 14, yeah, good 11. placement from Asan on the push from the net. It's about the time that usually Asan said you want to try a couple of flick serves after the 11 point interval. There we go. Anyone would have think you played them, and you did, didn't you, Ollie? Caught just to inform our viewers in the first round. 12, what was that? 14. Caught me by surprise as well. <laughs> it was a good score. 17 and 15. 26 minutes, it's good. Hammered down to the deck quickly from uh, Akeem Mohamed Hassan, pouncing all over it. Rapier quick he is. It's a match full of lightning quick exchanges at the moment, this one. Greyhound lean, isn't it? Gets up there in a blur and just seemed to have hang time around that steep smash put away. Yeah, he's lightning quick. His legs and his racket. Watanabe enjoying a couple of very strong Japanese points back to back. Of course, he uh, plays mixed doubles with Higashino, very effective pair, won the All England Open a couple of years ago. Yeah, he's 
is one of 16, only two 10. players that are top 10 in the world in both doubles and mixed doubles. The other being Du Yue from China in the women's doubles and mixed doubles category. Well, the run of consecutive points stops at four for the Japanese duo, but that was quite a run. They were 15 12 down. Suddenly, now we're at deadlock. Well, there's no doubting they were always going to challenge that with a hesitant late call from the Lions judge. Out. So we go upstairs. giving us all a bit of a respite from the intense viewing. I think it makes you tense watching, doesn't it? It's such a high tempo. It's in. Great challenge. Correction in. Endo was pretty quick back to that flick serve, and Watanabe backing up nicely as well. Service no nonsense over. badminton from the Japanese there. You can tell they're confident. Winners of the uh, recent Asia Championships 18. that I mentioned at the top of this program. self-doubt at this level you've got to back yourself and they certainly do a blur of red and white as team japan start leaping around all over the court really raising the intensity at the sharp end of this opening game now really stepped up, especially in the midcourt, just coming in early, making sure they're playing the shuttle down. was that the Indonesian onslaught was great there as well to draw a level yeah fantastic defense from the Japanese the entire rally but Asan's power is just too much in the end thought there was a big, big flurry from the Japanese. The Indonesians respond. Oh, wince as he throws himself backwards in annoyance from Hendra Setiawan. Could pay a heavy price for that one. Game point for Endo and Watanabe. Mohamed Hassan absolutely redlined at that smash, just buckling Watanabe. Over. 
square the score line. Can they find an extra gear? It's missed. Hendra Setiawan doesn't miss many of them. Watanabe was on the chase, didn't need to play it. Game point opportunity and um, Watanabe. Oh, the power just a little too much. They yield to the Indonesians and Endo and Watanabe of Japan find a way through to snatch the opening game. 22 points to 20 after 22 minutes played. Okay, we've got two more prizes to Yonex New Zealand Players back to court for game two. And uh, Watanabe Second game. finding a way in crunch time Level. in game one. Five. Halfway home, the Japanese to secure in the title. Will they continue in that vein? Well, he's overpressed on the last two consecutive points, One hasn't he, Mohamed Hassan? Must be so tempting when you're so power laden to do just that. But it's cost him. He is so sprightly, isn't he, Yuta Watanabe? He's carrying no weight and just so fast around the court. Service over. One, three. Two, 
miss it from Setsuan, but doesn't matter. It's a good initiative from him to take a step forward there. We're on this one there, recognising that Endo is under a little bit of pressure. Super return from Yuto Watanabe. Pounced all over that. Service over. Four, three. Only left-hander on court. Whatever you can do. Service over. Four, all. He's a man you don't want to mess with, isn't he, Hendris Setiawan, in the front court? Especially not right there, no. Well, synchronised arm raising from the Indonesians. They both saw it in, which sort of signals their intent. Let's have a look what the electronic review confirms. Rich variety from the Japanese. Service over, five, six. Good little passage of play from Asan and Setiawan. Just opting to play a little bit softer around the net, find the spaces. Not quite on that occasion from Asan, who's under a lot of pressure. I just think so towards the end of that first game, they were seven, eight. outplayed a little by the Japanese and moving forward and making sure that they were the ones on the offense. Hendra Setiawan there at his inventive best, really spreading his opponent's court nicely, making them cover a lot of ground and getting them a little uncomfortable. Look at this. Hassan with the big blow. And that was buckling in the end. Can you show him where? Thank you. Now, they spent the majority of time in the opening game in the lead, albeit slender. But they've done it again here, and, uh, well, they dearly so love to secure nine, game two and extend seven. their stay here in Auckland. 
the Indonesians I'm talking about. Good steep angle from Yuta Watanabe, just climbing up Nine, to the highest point to get that smash at its apex. Look at that. Some hang time there. And yeah, the Indonesian pair just content to hold Watanabe down on the back line. But he is still dangerous from back there. Can't discredit his abilities. So quick Ten from Watanabe. Ball. Moving before Muhammad Hassan had played that shot in anticipation. So the men in black from Indonesia, Hassan and Setiwan, head to the turn with a very slender one-point margin, just like we saw in the opening game after 33 minutes play. So we resume then after the turn in Five. game two. First game in favour of Endo and Watanabe. Cross got flat forehand from Hendra Setiwan, but not twice. Watanabe certainly awake to the possibility of it coming there. 11, 12. Played the counter attack appropriately. <laughs> Super accurate return of serve from Hendra Setiwan. 
Sorry, sorry, Alert to the flicker there. 13, 11. Lots of youngsters in the crowd today. Really good to see, enjoying their time here and getting inspired. These are good moments when you're young. Often stay with you for quite a long time. Particularly if you've got badminton aspirations. 14, 11. Nothing like seeing it with your eyes. Savouring the atmosphere and wanting to become good yourself. Did you uh, follow this as a youngster, Ollie? So Not so much, so actually. I was more of a, a late starter. 12, 14. Myself, 13, 14 years old before I started to have more ambition in the sport. Right, yeah. But yeah, for the youngsters here today, what an opportunity to see some absolute world-class men's doubles right now and world-class badminton throughout the afternoon. Yeah, we've been uh, indulged, haven't we? Yeah, it's been quite a spectacle. Lucky break off the net there for Mohamed Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's hiding behind the seats. <laughs> Bored of the badminton. They want to run around themselves, don't they? Where's his little sister? <laughs> she is. Oh, that became exhibition-like, didn't it? All four players finished the point with a smile on their face. That was certainly rally of the tournament so far. And how about that for finals day? Saving their best till last. Both teams stand out badminton. Thank you. Service over. Definitely gets the highlights real, this one. There's no doubting that. 17. One by the Japanese um, in the end. Mom. You had a little bit of everything, didn't oh. it, that rally? Nibbling away at the scoreboard deficit. A couple of consecutive points for Endo Motanabe. Service over. 18-14. Well, of course, great doubles is all about twinning 19, well simultaneously. And Endo's just gone off the boil a tiny bit. That's a, a slender lapse in concentration. But at this level, you can't afford it. 
And that's a few errors from him. He's frustrated. He's wanting to throw his racket to the floor. 20, but game point 14. And suddenly the game has slipped away in favour of the Indonesians who look like they're going to draw level here. Beautiful, really accurate splash from the left-hander. Torn a hole in another shuttle. And given that that wins women's double semi-final that lasted an hour and 42 minutes last night got through 52 shuttles, I wonder if this goes the distance, how many they might tear through. A few tubes, that's for sure. Taking no prisoners. Thank you. Service over. 15-20. So, Hassan and Setiawan still with five more game points to bring parity to the scoreline. There we are. They draw level, do yeah. Hassan and Setiawan. We go on in Auckland. 21-15, they secure the second game. 42 minutes played in all. Don't go anywhere. We'll have the decider for you. Any minute now. So back for game three then in this exciting men's doubles finale here from the New Zealand oh, Babbitton Open in Auckland. Lovely. Who will it be to reach the gold medal? Fantastic disguise on the drop shot from Mohamed Hassan. This one here, just how late he is before he stops his arm and hits, makes contact. Desperate dive from Endo was not enough. And you do sense he's got to redeem himself a little, hasn't he, Hiroki uh, Endo? After sort of perhaps just sort of Thank you. switching off a little towards the back end of that game, he was furious with himself. A few unforced errors bled from his racket. Normally so watertight so and intact over. in the big moments, but uh, One love. he'll want to uh, redeem himself, if nothing else, for his partner as well. But he is a quality athlete. Oh. 
and they enjoyed that one. Yeah, he's so quick on the counter-attack, isn't he, Watanabe? Just the slightest chance to move forward, and there he goes. Service over. Well, they've got possibly the youngest court attendant I've ever seen on court at the moment, bless him. Doing a grand Two, job sweeping one. up. Just making his way off top right of your picture there. Can't be any more than sort of 12. Done it again, deja vu. We saw that just moments ago. Beautiful from Service Mohammed Asa. Two, three. Again, just balancing his power with some deft touches as well. Nicely set up by the return of serve from Hendra Setiwan as well, just on the net. That's what Tanabi tried to do there, but he found the tape. Three all. It needs to be an attempt from the Japanese in this third and final game to play the net a little bit more and be on the offensive. Guilty of Service just over. backing off a little in the second Four, game there. Three. Yeah, you do get the sense that anything Five, less than lights three. out intensity isn't going to get your team there, is it? Any laps at all that can ill afford? They've got to be right on it at this kind of level. This is top 10 men's doubles fair here that we're bringing you. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Six, three. That smash power from Asan is becoming quite a prominent feature Service of this third over. game. Four, He's mixing six. those attack speeds really extremely. Setiawan had a good look at that. Oh. They want to challenge. <laughs> Funny moment there. There's... Uh, and plus, Susan Taylor was just uh, looking Andrew down at her challenges electronic device out. and didn't see the uh, arms aloft of the Indonesians, keen to challenge. They're eagle-eyed. They've come up trumps on this occasion more than once this match. I wonder if they'll do so here. Let's find out. Oh, no, way short. Look at that. Perhaps the Challenge net tape obscured them, giving them the BOD. Service over. One challenge remaining. Service over. 7 4. Play. Well, he set off such as explosive was his first step, but just unable to control the end range when he got there. Took a bit of an awkward land, I think, judging from the grimace. Lights out intensity. Nowhere else to go in this rampant, exciting men's doubles final. Thank you. Right. Five, seven, play. Wow. 
Well, he certainly has come back to the party well, hasn't he, Hiroki Endo? Really wanting to re-engage and impose his authority as he did then with that smash kill. Eight, five. Everybody's having a ball, even as commentators. Well, it always looks flamboyant, doesn't it? But it just sat a little too short from you to Watanabe, the back behind. Glamorous so nonetheless. Over. Really treating the Six, crowds with all of eight. his skills. So little between these two teams. It's one of those matches where, if you could, you'd say, tell you what, guys, let's just share it. <laughs> just, let's just, they are so close in level, aren't they? The world number sevens so, from so Japan over. against the current world number Nine, fours. Six. In Indonesia. for the show reel. Crowd going wild, understandably. These are great moments, inflatable clappers to the max. The crowd have been really treated to great value today, as always we get in badminton. Yes, yeah, ridiculous defense from Watanabe in the middle of that epic exchange. So both pairs with a smile on their faces afterwards as well. A little acknowledgement from Hendra Setiawan. And the skill of Watanabe there. And just bringing Ten, six. the best out of each other at the moment. Talking about bringing the best out of each other. The little one yet to respond, really. She wasn't buying into that, was she, Granddad? Or Dad? <laughs> Hope I didn't upset him. Indonesian luck. Service over. Seven ten. Well, Endo and Watanabe, four-point lead at the mid-game interval. 11-7 in favour of the Japanese. Get yourselves into the draw on the road to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics to support the New Zealand team. Get your phones out right now and text Barfoot to 332. That's Barfoot to 332. You have to be on your way to the Tokyo Olympics. Just text Barfoot to 332 and follow your instructions. Well, is there another twist in the tail? Or will the Japanese ride this four-point advantage in the deciding game? Home to the finish line in this men's doubles final. It's been compelling from the off. 11-7. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> stop it. Don't stop it. It doesn't get better than this. Yuta Watanabe with what was almost an unbelievable turnaround. He was under the cost throughout. Look at these guys leaping like salmon from a river. <laughs> Incredible point. Oh, many fans aghast at what's happening here. It's just extraordinarily high level of doubles. Yeah, it's often the one thing that truly sets apart the really world-class pairs, isn't it? The de defensive abilities. And we're getting an absolute spectacle, especially from Yuta Watanabe himself today. Yeah, we had it in the mixed doubles, didn't we? First final out here, at one o'clock local time. That was spellbinding, 29-27 in that deciding epic third game that lasted three quarters of an hour in itself. Nine, 12. Oh, just Great to see. I'm doing a real favour for the sport of badminton tournaments like this. Maybe just snatching at that one a little, Watanabe, but what defence from the Indonesians. Yeah, behind the back from Sejuan, keeping them in the rally. 10, 12. 12-8 becomes 12-10 as we momentarily step off stage for the Japanese just to sort of towel down quickly. The Indonesians want to continue with the momentum. Perhaps what this is all about, trying to break the roll of Asan and Setiawan, who have won the last two consecutive. Yeah, they're not known for taking too much time between points either, Asan and Setiawan. like to get on with it. That's a hat-trick of Indonesian points. 11, 12. They're not done with this final yet, Asan and Setiawan. They've got a comeback in mind. Five points in a row. They really have blown up quite a momentum bubble. And I'm not so sure that the Japanese have brought their pin. Yeah, just too quick at the net. Asan. It was very difficult once he gets in between to get it away from him. Extraordinary sense of calm that Hendra Setiawan brings. He looks unruffled, whatever the situation, as does Asan. Oh, they found that as well for a seventh consecutive point, saving their best till last here. 15, it's a mid-game flurry from Asan and Setiawan, who look utterly focused in the zone with that still-eyed gaze. Fans can't believe what's unfolding here. It's such a high level. They're back on it, aren't they? Just the one point lost recently. But 8-1 for Asan and Setiawan. 
Yeah, a better way of playing the rally there from the Japanese pair trying to use the full court. Open up Aslan and Seti one, but they're just much more alert at the moment. That's gone as well. Now, this is a long way from being 12-8 up as the Japanese were. It is motoring away from them far too quickly for their liking, I'm sure. Simply stunning badminton again. Brilliant from the Indonesians. They managed to retain the aggression throughout that point and put the point to bed somehow, despite sterling defense from the Japanese. Yeah, at the end of the day, it means doubles is really difficult to win defending. To the fist pump there from Hendra Sitiwan. Just relentless attack from the Indonesians. They've won 10 of the last 11 points. They're absolutely flying. Can they see at home? Three points away. Arasen and Setiawan now from the title. They won the All England Open earlier this year. But these guys are really on form. They've just taken the Asian champs. Caught by the fix serve. 15 18. Now, is it swinging the other way? Two consecutive points for these two. Setiawan, the oldest player on court at 34 years of age, stamps his authority on the situation again. Hangs his head in frustration, Hiroyuki Endo. Massive opportunity at the net to kill that course of 17-19 deficit. Just hasn't quite been his afternoon, I think, in the clutch stages. Four match points, championship points. One saved. Yeah, that one might have been drifting wide as well. At least Muhammad Hassan thought so. 17 20. What are they made of? Nerves of steel. All four, we know that. It's not unassailable. The serve goes long. Mohamed Hassan, a smile breaks out all over his face. 
a relieved smile. The twice world champions find a way to win the title in men's doubles. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, the second seeds, did ever so well on the day. It was a high pressure clash, but they came through after 66 minutes of tremendous badminton. And the crowd, and we, all of us here in Auckland, have been absolutely treated. 21-15, As we show you the match point again, it was a, a service error from Endo in the end that did it. And he happened to be just a little bit weaker in the crunch. But, you know, it was a great match, wasn't it? Mohamed Hassan, Hendry Setiawan, confirmation of the scoreline, 20-22, 21-15, 21-17. After 66 minutes on court, what a spectacle that was. Well, we have our champions, our final champions for the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open, uh, Mohamed Hendra. A wonderful performance. You've won so many big tournaments, big titles, but how special is this here? Uh, Hendra sama Asan menang banyak turnamen yang bagus dan uh, terutama yang besar dan sekarang menang di sini. Bagaimana rasanya? Pertama saya mengucapkan syukur alhamdulillah. Terima kasih supporter, terima kasih buat semua dukung buat doanya. Dan ini sangat berarti buat kita ya turnamen ini karena ini mulai buat kualifikasi olimpiade. Okay. So thank God that, that we actually win this uh, tournament. This is a very big because it's actually pre preparation for the Olympics and we also thank the uh, supporters. Yeah, the supporters have been wonderful, but so has the quality of play. The badminton has been out of this world this week. Ah, di, um, badminton kualitasnya sangat bagus minggu uh, minggu, minggu ini. Jadi kualitasnya itu luar biasa. Kira-kira bagaimana itu? Ya, itu memang bagus ya buat badminton. Buat badminton kedepannya semoga semakin apa berkembang ya badminton di dunia. <coughs> yeah, they are actually happy with the quality of the badminton, and hopefully it will actually continue to uh, play better. We wish you well with the Tokyo 2020. Put your hands together again for our champions in the men's doubles, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sidiwan. Well, it's a glorious moment, wasn't it? An absolute three-game thriller that we were treated to. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sidiwan coming through, men's doubles champions, so the prize ceremony awaits.
Well, welcome to our final presentation at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Badminton Open for the men's doubles and what a tournament it has been. Please welcome our finalists to the podium. Presenters for this match, Barfoot and Thompson Managing Director, Peter Thompson, Alfred Wong, Sales and Marketing Manager for One Pure, and Luke Gerber, Sales Manager for Yonex New Zealand. We'd like to acknowledge our officials. Let's celebrate a wonderful week. Susan Taylor, our umpire from Australia. And service judge for this men's doubles final, Justin Zhao, New Zealand. Runners up in the men's doubles at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open from Japan, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. And our champions, between them they have a total of four Olympic and World Championship titles. It is wonderful to have them here in New Zealand. They are now Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open men's doubles champions from Indonesia, Mohamed Asan and Hendra Sidiwan. So our doubles champions then of the men's doubles event, Mohamed Hassan and Hendria Setiawan enjoying the moment, having trousered the check Put for your hands almost 12,000 US dollars. An absolutely incredible tournament. Our finals, and some generous our gifts as well from the from tournament. Indonesia. Lovely Good scenes on what's been a terrific final Sunday here at the Event Finder Stadium. The, the event has been staged so beautifully here in Auckland, courtesy of Barford and Thompson and the uh, BWF as well. Confirmation of our results then. Chan and Go winning the mixed doubles. And Kim and Kong winning the women's doubles. And then Jonathan Christie with an outstanding performance containing Angus Nkalong in straight games. Played so well, didn't he, the Indonesian number two. In the women's singles, it was the young 17-year-old Korean An si Young with a splendid performance. Her first ever World Tour Super 300 level event win, but first of many, you'd imagine, so talented she is. In men's doubles as well, the last match that we brought you, just over an hour of compelling watch. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan as the second seeds securing the win. So that concludes our action from final Sunday here at the Event Finder Stadium, Auckland. Hope you enjoyed our live coverage. We'll leave you with a few parting pictures. Join us for all the live Total BWF Sudaman Cup coverage from Nanning on the 19th to the 26th of May. From all of our production crew back of house, Ollie Layden Davis and myself, Paul Hand, it's bye for now.
Well, what an amazing, amazing week it has been here at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open. Oliver Layden Davis, I, I, surreal is a word that I'm thinking of. The quality of badminton has just been out of this world.